Very hastily, I've decided to make a custom Wolverine using two colours. I'm going to transform him into it, hopefully a ten times better figure. Yes, it's just a coincidence that the Deadpool trailer came out. These are the brushes I'm using. Also, just for the sake of transparency, I have never made a custom before, so let's see how this goes. I'm going to start by disassembling him and then working on each piece individually. I'm thinking brown first, as that should be quite easy to apply of the black, and then work on the grey. There's less of it, and we'll really bring this figure together. Let's see how it goes. POV, why you should always have a little paint thing down, mat down, because this probably won't come off my desk. Oh no, probably a bit too much brown paint as well. <laughs> okay, so the black is the most prominent colour on Wolverine, and I've painted most of it brown already, so I've not done the need to wait for this bit to dry. Um, but the first coat on pretty much everything else is done. I'm waiting till the end to see if I want to paint the boots and gloves brown. I'm just not sure if, like, if I want to do that, but I think the brown's a very nice colour. I'm really liking the look of that, and I'm sure he'll come together very nicely. But yeah, it's looking nice, I think. Um, that's the arms are going to look like in there. I decided against painting the joints, I just think it's a bit redundant. Um, yeah, but I'm going to try and somehow sort out the butterfly joint because it's still extremely loose. So I'm going to still try and like figure out a way to tighten that. Um, maybe the paint itself will thicken up the joint. Yeah. Anyway, brown looks good. Uh, head sculpts, I'm going to keep black ears because I like black ears. And then I'm going to paint the grey to a yellow. I'm thinking more of this kind of yellow for the moment. Kind of a, like a subtle yellow rather than this one. I may go for a mix. Who knows? I ran out of storage, but all the colours are down on Wolverine now. I'm keeping these bits black, the bit on the head black, and the belt black, but the rest of it is going to look like that. I need to get a clear coat and do a couple more layers on this, but this is looking nice. So this is the craft sealer I got. Hopefully it's good. I mean, it might break through Wolverine, but who cares? Wolverine is now currently drying, but I thought whilst I'm here, I might as well change Deadpool. Just so you're right, everything on this figure is going to be painted with this red by Game Color Vallejo. The white in the eyes will be done with this. Now I'm going to do the most painful step. I'm going to whiten the eyes on every head. Now I coined this in my Warhammer miniature painting days. This is the Jack Lurney slap it on, scrape away technique. Grab anything sharp, slap on that paint. You see how bad the eyes looked? Oh, how Jack did you get it like that? Oh, I just grabbed the tweezers and I just get rid of all the excess. And that, my friends, is how you do good eyes on action figures, I guess. I used to do it on miniatures, and now I do it with Mafexes. It's a bit of a price increase, but you'd be confident with it, and everyone thinks you're a pro. I've painted two figures in my entire life. It's now the end of the day, and the customs are finished. I didn't expect this to be a one-day thing, but here we are. I'm really happy with this. There's a few little grey bits on Deadpool that I'm going to tidy up tomorrow along with doing the rest of his heads and hands, but I'll probably keep them like this, to be honest, and I won't notice the grey. I'm not really that bothered. Wolverine, really nice. My least favourite out of the two, the Deadpool just looks perfect to me, but I really like the suit, I like the colouring, I like the black throughout the boots, gloves, belt, and headpiece. I just think he looks so cool, and these are definitely an upgrade to me for the X-Force figures. I'm really happy to have these in my collection, and made me really like these figures again. So yeah, I've, I mean, I've tried to make this video helpful. I hope, you know, all the results and everything were useful. I used two print brushes in this, a small one, big one. I don't, <laughs> I don't know the names of them. I love doing this, and I think this was worth the materials of the actual figures themselves and my time. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you later.